Hello and welcome to the Calendar app. My name is Sammy and in this video we are taking a look at how you can send automated appointment reminders to your customers using ManyChat and the Calendar app. And this is the message we are going to send to our customer. Hey Sammy, your appointment is coming up in one day. Can't make it, no worries, reschedule or cancel the appointment. And it's so easy to set this up because everything you need to do is a rule and a flow and both come in the calendar app starter kit manager template. If you haven't installed a template, go to your calendar app account on the settings manager account and click on install next to starter kit and follow the instructions. At your manager page, navigate to automation rule and activate the calendar app messenger reminder rule. If you take a closer look at the rule, you see that one day before the appointment starts, we're going to send an appointment reminder flow to your customer. And if you take a look at the flow, you see that this is the exact message I showed you just a couple of seconds ago. Hey, first name, your appointment is coming up in one day on calendar app start, can't make it, no worries, reschedule or cancel the appointment. Right here, you need to adjust the action blocks to your events, just like we did in the confirmation message. So make sure you have the reschedule and messenger option um, selected from the dropdown. Same for the delete appointment and scheduling option. Obviously, you can adjust your flow just as you like. You don't actually have to include a rescheduling or um, canceling the event option. One very crucial thing is the fact that you might send those appointment reminder messages outside the 24 hour window. If, you, if your customer is within that 24 hour window, you will send a regular message. If not, you need a permission to send a message to your customer. And you do that either with a recurring notification or an OTN topic, all right? So keep that in mind that you, that you have both activated and in your confirmation message, just like we did in the last video, you were asking for permission to send this exact message. Click on publish your flow and do the exact same thing for the messenger, for the other channels like WhatsApp if you use it, Telegram if you use it or Instagram if you use that one. Adjust those flows accordingly and always keep the 24 hour window in mind. If you have questions about it, I'm going to put a link to a blog post in the description below. You can always navigate to support and submit a support ticket. In the next video, we're taking a look at how you can add this amazing add to calendar button to your confirmation message so your customers can add the appointment to their own calendar as well. Subscribe to this amazing channel and I see you in the next video.